Doctor, I'm very worried about this patient. How come, Michelle? What's happening? Well, um, he's fairly uncomfortable and... Oh! Oh my goodness. I'm not sure what's wrong with him. Do you know? Excuse me, Mr. Smith? Oh, oh goodness. Michelle's vitals really don't look very good. I think we need to uh, capture his airway. Let's prepare to intubate. It has been our special treat, thanks to uh, the community and the foundation, to have this um, Sim Kelly doll for the last uh, six months or so to start to play with. Um, we use it in the emergency department as well as on the wards and throughout the hospital to practice some of the life-saving skills that we need to provide the quality of care that we would like to uh, at this hospital. It's really become the future of continuing medical education for physicians and nurses and other staff to be doing uh, practicing or simulations of kind of uh, patient scenarios in your uh, usual environment but on a mannequin where uh, you can sort out the finer details of um, situations that you may not get to practice every day. The doll itself is, as I said, a high fidelity doll. So there's various things that you can do with the Kelly doll. It's got a spring kind of in the chest and so you can do real life CPR kind of on it. There's an area over on the side here where you can put in a chest tube to evacuate blood or air from around the lung. And it's all linked in wirelessly through this uh, connection to basically a little SIM pad. And so it's very user friendly um, to kind of pick scenarios and work through them from afar, have it displayed on the monitor and have uh, the staff and, and, uh, or, and or students kind of practice these scenarios in, in real life uh, scenarios and situations. I really can't thank you and Dr. Unger enough for uh, saving my life. really want to put in a special thanks to the uh, foundation and the community on the peninsula. It, uh, it certainly will uh, help save lives, mine included. Another life saved!